Here's the reason why bugs are hard to estimate. Let me rewind back to an issue that I had previous month with my car, as an example. So typically in software, you're gonna occasionally get your occasional defects, aka bugs. You will or have received a bug in your career in order to fix it, or aka squash it. Recently, my car had a bug. It wouldn't start. Now, just like in software, I didn't know what was the issue with the car. I didn't know right away. So when my project manager or my wife asked me, how long is it gonna take to fix it? Well, I tell them I need to do a little bit more discovery on this. I know I've been receiving the steps to reproduce the issue, but I need to do some more discovery to find down like how long this is really gonna take. Because just like a YouTuber I watch, Continuous Delivery, he says, software is a continuous discovery and exploration. So I do some discovery. So the first thing I do is to check on my car, I do the steps to reproduce it and all the other stuff and see what could be the issue. Could it be the battery? So I check that first. Or maybe the fuel fuse is like bad. One of the fuse in the fuse box is bad. So I check that as well. But all those seem to be checked out good. So I need to go a little bit further in. So most of the time when you're debugging an issue, you're given some type of warning and it kind of gives you this warning or error and it could be anything really. So you need tools to debug that issue to get the exact error that you're, you're getting. Cause it could be something surface error, but there could be something way down below that could be the main issue. So most of the time you need tools to find this error. And in this particular case, the tool of choice was the ODM scanner. So more likely in software, you're gonna have tools like console logs, debug logs, breakpoints, and all these other debugging tools that you can, you know, find down what the issue is with the with the code or with the bug. This way we can see the actual error that it could be occurring underneath. Since we found the error, now we can do some research on what could be the possible fix for this particular error. So in the case of my car, it was the map sensor. I already did the previous checks, like check the battery and the fuse box already, but the map sensor was the next step in order to fix this little lightning bolt symbol that was coming on my dashboard. So that's what I did. And this map sensor is so very important to the overall system because without the map sensor, it cannot determine the air pressure volume coming into the intake. And the intake uh, pretty much is determining exactly how much air is coming needs to be coming in with the throttle body opening up to bring that into the engine compartment to combust that air with the gas. So without that, you can cause serious issues with your engine going forward if you don't correct that sensor. So this is more on the reason why the car wouldn't want to start up because it's saving itself from getting proper improper readings from the sensor. So I need to see if that would be the fix. So just like in software, I took out the bad component and replaced it with a good component that hopefully, you know, will fix the issue. And then as we're, you know, taking all these things into consideration, we're making sure we're using best practices. Because after taking out this sensor, you need to meet certain requirements of monitors to ensure that it should be working properly. So it wouldn't start if I didn't put in the right amount of gas in the car according to the forums. So I put in the right amount of gas after I replaced the sensor. So as soon as I put in that gas, I can start driving. It can reprogram itself to reset those monitors to the proper levels to ensure that the system gets reprogrammed. So after putting in that gas and clearing the error codes, 
it fired up. It really was no telling how long it was going to take me to fix that issue. And I could have been on a continuous rabbit hole trying to find exactly what this issue is. But this is one of the issues with bugs. It could be a little small component that could be causing an issue to this whole integrated entire system. And this is one of the reasons why I guess we don't point bugs in the in our in our particular organization. But it should be definitely considered. It should definitely be considered because things like this, in the case of my car, took me roughly around two days, eight hours in total. And yeah, and two trips to to the uh, AutoZone and Walmart to get the right tools and stuff to fix everything. So through discovery, I learned that the problem became clearer and clearer in order to be solvable.